Hey guys, Tech Commentary, we're with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to be doing an unboxing review of a MacBook Pro that we bought from eBay for a really good deal. So this MacBook Pro is a 15-inch one, 2015 model. We were able to buy it for around $200 or so. I'm going to show you what kind of quality you can expect when you buy it from eBay. As you can see here, we ordered it on the 16th, took about three days to ship, and then arrived on the 22nd so all about five or six days and it was $196 plus a little bit of tax here so we're gonna go through the unboxing and give you guys also tips and uh, some tricks if you're buying off eBay to make sure you don't get scam or anything like that and this is the very first one that you guys wanted us to do a review for so we're doing the review finally for a MacBook Pro we did similar reviews for different iPhones iPad as well in the past so as you can see here this is what we paid for again macbook pro this is again a7 16 gig of ram 256 gig again 196 not too bad for the price plus a little bit of uh, tax that we had to pay for but this is was considered r2 which means tested for key function so this should be fully functional whenever you buy from ebay always make sure you read the description thoroughly to make sure you know what you're getting so it already came in a bigger box, but because it didn't fit in it, we took it out of the box and it's just on bubble wrap. So all we're going to do is take the plastic off here so that we can start looking at the MacBook itself. So they really put a lot of thing in it. The one thing this one didn't include is a charger cable, so we have to purchase that separately. So as you can see here, this is the MacBook 15 inch that came in the box here. It is a used MacBook. So if you look across, there's a little bit of a mark over here on this side. Can't really see again, it's really tiny. And then going in on this side, got the charge port. Again, there's a little bit of nick over here, as you'll notice here. Again, slightly on the frame here. Very small, but of all here, as you can see. Most of the time when you buy MacBook off eBay, you'll see they'll detail out any sort of scratches or mark as the best as they can. But again, sometimes they won't be able to detail it, so make sure you thoroughly inspect it after you receive it. So that's what the top looks like. And then taking a look at the bottom here, as you can see the bottom. Again, there's some marks over here. These are scratch mark. There's a sticker which you can probably peel it off. And that's kind of it about it. So it didn't come with a charger, unfortunately, so that's an additional purchase we do have to do. But that's fine because the charger shouldn't be too bad. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up and see if it powers on here. A couple things when you're buying on eBay, always make sure you read, the, again, the description thoroughly. The other thing you want to make sure is that when you do buy it, that you know the seller has a lot of good ratings. That's important and because you don't want to buy from a seller that's new or doesn't have any rating because... If you don't, then you can potentially get yourself in a lot of trouble when trying to open up a return and all that because they're new to the platform. So always look for a lot of good ratings. Usually I go in the thousand or more, sometimes a couple hundred is fine. You want to make sure you click on the seller's profile, see what they're selling, look them, examine them to make sure you know you know exactly what you're going to be getting. So as you can see, I powered it on overall to give you guys an idea. Let's take a look at the keyboard itself. So that's what the keyboard looks like. And this is a 15 inch one, so it's slightly bigger. And then you got that. So it's already looks like reset. So we're gonna have to set this up. The keyboard zooming in. Again, it is a used keyboard. I generally like this keyboard. The touch bar is one that I didn't really like when Apple introduces. So the 15 model is one of those premium models a lot of people still really like and they use. So again, 15 inch. As you mentioned, it's it does a 16 gig RAM and then i7 as well. So only for $200, that's a really good deal, I think. So those are going to be a couple things to check. Also, when you do go ahead and check out the limit, always look for the return policy. Under every listing, there's going to either say they have a 30 day, 60 day, some are going to do 90 days or no return at all. You always want to buy from one that has returned so that if you have any issues, you can simply go ahead and return it. So as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and set the Wi-Fi password here. All right, demo Wi-Fi here. So we're going to connect. Hopefully you can set this up and there's no passcode or anything like that. Also, the other thing you want to make sure whenever you're reading the description, it does fully functional. There's no issues. Also, the battery thing. This one, for example, it says battery 
cycle should be under or like 150 or something, which is good. Usually the MacBook, the battery cycle is closer to 1,000 or 7, 800. Those are usually time for a battery replacement. So that battery cycle is also important. And with any Apple product, you also want to make sure there's no Apple ID associated with it from the previous owner. So as you can see here, right now it's connecting to the internet. So we got data and privacy. So this is on Big Sur, so the setup is going to be similar to that. Uh, and then it just tells you how we want to go about migrating things over. We can probably just do not now. Apple ID, you want to sign in so you can use it. We can always come back and later. So just going to skip here. Some big legal stuff. We're just going to hit agree here. Agree one more time. And then it wants you to set up some things to see if you can continue here. So it does need all of that info here. So we're just going to put admin, admin, um, password. It's just going to be password. And I'm just showing up just so you guys can see. You can set this up. Continue again. Of course, when you're setting it up, you're going to put things like your name and complex password. But here, I'm just looking to move through this as fast as possible. So these are things that are similar to Apple devices with screen times and analytics, Siri. If you can enable it, you can just continue. Actually, we'll go back. We just won't enable it right now. And let's keep on going. I just want to make sure we can get to the main home screen here so that we can make sure that it works again when you after you get it like I said you get 30 days or 60 days make sure you really test it out things from like charging to the keyboard to make sure it works if they said it should be fully functional like camera and I start using it and if you've noticed any issues of course open up a return generally it's pretty good when it comes to return you shouldn't have issues and as you can see as we just simply set this up without any issues we put our account here and we're good to go so $200, 2015 MacBook Pro. Again, do you think it's a good deal or not? Leave a comment in the comment section. We're also going to put some link in the description section. So if you guys are looking for cheap discounted MacBook, you should be able to click on those link and check those out. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If so, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.